Hello and welcome to the Getting Things Screencast. This is episode four, Using Tags. So far, we've learned the basics of getting your ideas into things and letting things manage your today list of tasks. Today, we're gonna to learn how to further organize and contextualize our tasks using one of things' most powerful features, and that's tags. First, I wanna show you how easy it is to create a tag. You simply type in the name of your tag and hit enter when you're creating a task. The tag will show up here. You will only see the data that here that, that you care about. If you've already created the tag, it'll actually try to auto-complete it for you. Things comes with a predefined list of tags that you can see by clicking this icon in the lower right. It comes with the default GTD context tags, work, home, and errand. It also comes with priority tags, high, medium, and low, time tags for three minutes and an hour, and difficulty tags. You'll notice that these priority tags, difficulty tags, and time tags have a hierarchy. That's because Things allows you to make tags hierarchical so that you can sort them properly. Let me give you an example with priorities. Let's make a few more tasks and set them with varying priorities. You'll notice this task doesn't have a priority tag. But when I click this priority tag here, you can see the dot 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 means that this is the top level of a hierarchy. You see that only the tasks that have those tags are there, and they're sorted in the same order that they are here. Now, you can change that order. Let's say, oddly enough, that we want to do it this way. Now, I becomes at the bottom. Of course, we'd never want to do that. We always want our high priority tasks at the top. But let's say that we find that we have lots of things tagged high, medium, and low, and we suddenly need a new higher priority task. Let's make it an immediate. I can create a new item. When I sort by priority, it's at the top. Well, let's take these GTD context tags and create an at tag. Let's drag these right in. I tend to like my context to be at the, at the first place on my list, followed my, by my priorities. You'll notice that I place these tags in the order work, errand, and home so that they flow throughout my day. I work during the day, I have an errands on the way home, and then when I get home, I have some tasks that need to happen. I'd like to show you tag shortcuts now, which are an incredibly powerful feature and allow you to quickly tag items. You can even tag multiple items or de-tag items. But you'll notice, here on the right, there are single characters. These are the tag shortcuts. You don't have to open, and in fact can't open, a task in order to use these shortcuts. You select the task, and then simply type the character. Let's say this is a work task type a W, and now this is tagged as work. 
now I have both a work task and a home task. Let's go back. Let's change one of these. Let's say the immediate, which was automatically given the shortcut of an I. Let's change that to an exclamation point. And let's remove this one. I'm never going to use it. Just double click, change your character. Now, let's remove the medium by hitting 2 and make this immediate. All I had to do was hit the exclamation point and it automatically tagged it. I can tag all of these items as work or an errand by hitting E. I can detag them by hitting E. I can toggle work. So if I hit W, you'll notice that the one that was work before gets removed and everything else gets work added to it. So the shortcuts really allow you to toggle the tags on any number of items. Once you have your items tagged, you'll be able to filter your list by the things that matter to you. So if you want to only want to work on work items, or only want to work on high priority items, or immediate priority, you can. After you're done with your immediate items, you can go back here and filter by just the next highest. One more thing I'd like to mention, you can also use your global search to search for tags. If I search for low, it actually brings up all of the low priority tasks. If I search for immediate, it brings up my immediate tasks that are in next, today, or even the ones that are in the logbook. I find this very useful when I'm looking for particularly tagged items, not just the priority items, but whenever I want to look for all the things that are in my development list or in my yard work. That's going to conclude the podcast. I hope you've learned how tags can help you filter and order your lists so you can get more done. Be sure to check back next week when we'll be discussing taking your tasks with you with the iPhone and iPod Touch version of things. For those of you who don't have an iPhone or an iPod Touch, we'll also discuss how you can take it with you using the print feature. See you next time.